Hello guys and welcome to the system power tutorial for Crestron Independent Study at Kelvin University. So in a typical classroom, um, if you press the power button on the touch panel, that will um, dim the touch panel display and then it'll, it'll display some text that says something like uh, tap screen to wake. That doesn't actually shut off the processor and the video switcher and stuff like that, but in case the professor or teacher wants to reduce distractions in the classroom, uh, they can very easily um, dim the display without shutting the projector off and shutting the processor and switcher off. Um, so we're going to implement that today. So first things first, um, let me open Vision Tools and um, show you something here. So, um, if we go to hard keys, um, you can see that hard key one is set to button one, two is set to two, etc. Uh, let me kind of explain what hard keys are for you. So if I open the VTC file, the hard keys are the power, the home, the light, and the up and down button. So currently, as it is in Vision Tools, this button is mapped to digital one, this is two, three, four, and five. Hence why we started projector on at six and worked our way down from six to seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Because um, we needed these open for uh, one through five. So if we want the power button to dim the display, we'll use one and then if we wanna um, have the user um, wake the display, they can either tap the display or tap the home button. Either one will do the same thing. So what we'll do is we'll write the code for this. So first things first, we should declare our globals like we always do. So our two globals are just going to be a system power button and system wake button on one and two. So we'll do const int system power button equals one and constant system power, oops, sorry, system wake button equals two. Okay, so now that that's done, we can save. Now let's add some if else block here. So after our lighting, oops. So after our lighting, our first um, if else block is going to handle the sleep screen. So um, let's do sleep. So else if and then args dot sig dot number equals system power button we are going to do the following code. So if we want it to sleep, we want um, system power button to be set to true and system wake to be set to false. Um, I guess system power is also kind of system sleep. Um, so we want user interface dot boolean input oop dot boolean input dot Oh, sorry, we want to access the array. Sub system power button. That bool value equals true. And we want to set wake to false. So system wake button. Save that. Okay, else if, this should be, our wake screen, else if, this is just gonna be the same thing, except system wake button. Okay, 
Um, we want to do the same thing, it's just reverse them. So, um, system power, we want false. Wake, we want true. Um, so we actually want this the wake button to be true uh, first before the false. That way there isn't um, no active page. Um, you'll see that in a minute, but we had a bit of an issue where if there were no active pages, then the touch panel would crash. So that's why we need at least one page true at once. Hence why we change the wake button to true before we set the power to false. So that's the only code we need. So now I'm going to go to vision tools and make a new page. So I'll hit, uh, oops, I need to right click on a project. New page, I'm going to call this sleep. Page one, I'm going to call wake. Okay. So now let's open our sleep page, make it full screen, make it a bit bigger. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add a button that fills up the entire screen, and if it's tapped, it takes you back to the wake screen. So I'm gonna do tap to wake screen. And then I'm gonna make this full screen here. Okay, so now that I have made the button full screen, um, I'm going to set the digital join on the sleep screen to one. So if you go here, visibility digital join to one, wake screen will be two. So if we look at our code, this makes sense because our wake screen's on two and our dim screen or power button screen is on one. So, uh, so depending on what um, the booleans are set to in the code, uh, the screens will follow accordingly due to the join. And then one last thing is this button needs to have a digital join of two so that if it's pressed, it um, calls the wake screen. So um, this looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna save and compile. So one important thing that I didn't mention before is that these side buttons are hard mapped to one, two, three, four, and five, uh, digital one through five. So uh, if you guys remember projector on started at six and then we went down from there, that's why we did that because if we started projector, um, the projector on at one, pressing this button would essentially do the same thing. So we had to make room for these five buttons here. So in vision tools, um, if you go to this, you can see that the hard key one is set to button one. Oh, it looks like you can change it here. So um, if you change it here, that's cool, but we're just gonna leave it as one, two, um, through five and so forth. Uh, I guess if you wanted to change it, you could, but we're gonna leave it here. So I'm just gonna save, compile again, just in case. Um, cool, close that. So now if I open this here, and I'm gonna close this and reopen it again. Okay, so if we go type in our IP, um, if we hit 